Well, I love to sing my country song, but there's one thing that brings me more joy. That's sitting right down to your tasty meal. Guess you could call me the hungry cowboy. I might find it in a trailer or a restaurant, or maybe at my cousin's El Rose. Should have even been known to cook it for myself. Yeah, that's right, I'm the hungry cowboy. Cowboy. Oh, let's eat, kids. Welcome, friends, once again to another episode of The Hungry Cowboy. I am your host, Eric Nesnick. Behind me is the Big Top Candy Shop and Soda Fountain. We're going to get inside there and check out all the old school candies that a lot of us know and love from our past. Some of you youngsters, you may have never have seen some of that stuff. We're going to show you anyway. And after that, I think I'll top things off with maybe a malt, a shake, or some kind of a fun sundae. This is the Big Top Candy Shop right here, South Congress, Austin, Texas. This place is just super cool. It's kind of a mix of old retro candies and all kinds of new stuff. This area I'm standing in now, kind of a bulk bin. You just grab a bag, fill it up. I think I saw some caramels here. I'm currently waiting on my milkshake, which she said would be extra beautiful. Until then, I'm gonna load up. Places like this remind me of, of different parts of my youth. These old, just smell good, feel good, look good candy stores are so much fun. I'm gonna keep shopping. I will check back in with you when I have ice cream very near my lips. This, my friends, is a chocolate mint milkshake waiting for me. The boys here at Big Top made it special. Well, I'm excited. I'll let you know in just a second how this thing rolls in. That is possibly the perfect milkshake. It's not too thick, like some malts get. Anytime they serve it just with a straw, you know it's gonna be good. I'm heading to other places so I don't have the stomach for it, but they also make really, really good Italian sodas. So I'm told. And I take their word for it. Mm. This is really good. I asked one of the nice young ladies that works here at Big Top if she wanted to, to be on camera here and kind of give a walking tour of the candy shop. She declined. I'm guessing probably she's a convict in the witness relocation program and we can't give away her identity. I understand, but she was nice enough to take me around herself. So I'm gonna kind of rehash that tour with you. Starting right here. This kid's is basically Legos, edible Legos. Can't go wrong with that. I love Legos. I sometimes love candy. Perfect. This is a starter kit. I've never eaten Legos before. Well, actually when I was about six years old, I did eat a Lego. I found it later. If a giant sugar daddy isn't what you're looking for, probably you're the type of person who would prefer crickets or worms actual worms not for me kids and with a fresh bag in hand i am at my favorite part of any candy store the taffy land i don't have a huge sweet tooth so normally not a lot of chocolate I mean, a lot of sweets in general not a lot of sugar but taffy one of my vices this one's got it all grape blue raspberry chili mango buttered popcorn this little sucker says butter on it. You know why? Because it tastes like butter. 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 So if the butter sucker isn't your thing, perhaps a soap sucker? Which I can't imagine they make taste like soap, but who knows, maybe. So a soap sucker, a butter sucker, the choice is yours at Big Top Candy Shop. I've never been a huge gummy bear fan, but if you happen to be, you got you covered here at Big Top. Giant, giant, this thing is, but this thing was the fun. You could probably hurt someone pretty badly if you just. I certainly cannot leave Big Top without trying what's in this right here. This is their world famous, as featured all over television, chocolate covered bacon bars. I must indulge. So while I was picking out my my bacon, which this happens to be two slices of bacon covered in delicious homemade milk chocolate. At any rate, while I was grabbing this guy, they also talked me in to this. It's a 
basically a bottle made of wax. And I'm supposed to bite the head off and suck out what's inside. It's like a crawfish that way. Do I eat the wax? No. Mm -mm. Maybe. No. Different. Yep, different. Let's go to bacon. Mm, bacon and chocolate. Bottoms up, kids. That's just kind of silly good. Two of America's favorites right there. And this wall is just, this is the old stuff. The stuff that's been around forever and ever. You've got slow pokes, Mary Jane's, bit of honeys, the old big hunk bars, Clark bars, the Mallow cups. And this stuff has been, people have been grabbing this from candy stores for literally hundreds of years. It's awesome. This is Big Top Candy Shop in Austin, Texas. My name's Eric Nesnick, the Hunger Cowboy. And as I say at gigs, I'm younger than I look, but older than I feel. Gang, I will see you next time. No more. Oh well. Ha <laughs> ha